Oh, hey! You guys always want to know what's going on in the shop. Alright, I'll let you in. Uh, I got a blank mounted up on the lathe here. It's just a 7 8 square by 5 inch long blank. What I'm doing is making some pins to hold some legs together on a farmhouse table, antique farmhouse table that I'm making. I thought it would be cool just to have wooden pegs glued in instead of using screws or dowels or something. Uh, something different. I like to be creative. So it's real simple what I'm doing. Uh, I actually have a few wrenches set up for sizes. So I got that mounted in the lathe. I'm at like almost 1900 RPM. I'm going to round that. I'm going to round this piece and then uh, I'll show you how I go about shaping them so they're all the same. Alright, so once it's round, I got a three quarter inch wrench and I'm just using that to size the head of my pin. So that's good. And then I got a half inch wrench and I'm using that to size the hole that I'm going to cut in the piece of wood. And then down on the end, I got a 3 8 one because I want to put a taper on these. Um, they're not going to go all the way through and I want to make sure that they get to the bottom. So once those are set, it's just a matter of clearing out the material and tapering it down. Oh. Keep that tailstock up. I'm just going to take the half inch wrench and make sure that I don't have any high spots. It's a little tight right here, but I'm going to leave that because I'll tap it in and it'll hold it tighter. So now we're just going to shape the head. Alright, so to shape the head, I'm just going to Cut in here a little bit and give it a taper. I'm trying to make mine kind of flat, like I got here. Um, but I mean, you could do rounded, whatever you wanted. So I'm going to use this as kind of a guide so I get the thickness of the head about the same as the other ones. Oh, I'm totally blocking you. So I use this piece just to make sure that I have uh, the heads about the same as the other ones. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to give it just a little bit more. We'll hit this with some quick sandpaper. Um, and then I'm just going to part it off. 
it's hard to do this lefty while you guys are watching, but for you, I'll do it. So that's kind of it. I'm going to, uh, I made them longer than they needed to be because I figured I could always make them shorter, but you can't add wood where there isn't wood. So that's what I got. Uh, I got a bunch of these made already. So I'm going to keep going. I got a couple more to make and then I'll show you the application that I'm using them for. So here's the table that I've been working on. Uh, I got my little wooden pins all made up and I have this crossbar going across the bottom. I drilled some holes in here that will line up with holes on these feet and I'm just going to drop those pins in. So as long as my holes all line up, and I'm sure they will, they don't line up. Oh, there we go. This one feels a little too tight. That one's good. Let's just grab another one. There we go. So we want to just be able to just lightly tap these down. You do it from this side so you can see. So that's just going to hold this in place and we'll do the other side. Now the point of these pins is not really to give it a whole bunch of strength. It's just, it's more of a decorative piece just to hold this cross piece in. And then because I made them long, I'm just going to use a flush cut saw and trim off the excess. So now if these need to get pulled out, you can just tap it from the bottom and they'll come up or you could use, I went all the way through with my hole so you could tap it, you know, with a nail or a punch or something. But this is going to, it makes it sturdy, gives it a little added de decoration. Uh, we're going to do one more up here on the crossbar and let me drill that hole and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so for this end thing, the customer wanted something a little bit bigger, so I made a, a pin with a larger knot. And again, these are already fastened together. This is purely decoration. Uh, I'm going to cut these just a little bit shorter because I don't want them to go all the way through. It's just a, just a decoration for the end. It'll add a little bit to the structure, but not really. So from this angle, you can see all of my expertise. I'm going to hold this drill as square as I can. Make sure that I don't go all the way through because that would be too bad. That should be good. And then I'll finish it off with the larger half inch bit. Nice and level. So we're just going to give this a test fit. Oh, it's pretty snug. I'm going to loosen the hole up a little. Shit. I broke it. Now I got to make another one. Look at that, through the magic of TV. I have another one, and that one fits right in. Uh, so I'm gonna so we'll put a little glue on that. Ugh. And we just twist that in there. Seems like it might need a little more flow.
Okay, so that's in there. And I know that you can't really tell from the camera, but this is um, antique, not, well, it's, I guess, antique pine. Uh, and the top is made out of redwood, which is what I made this out of. So once this gets a stain on it, this will have a little bit of a contrast as well as the pins that I put on the bottom. And it'll just add that little visual interest. Oh, that's already in there good. All right, so now I'm just going to do the other side. This table's all done. I'll uh, put up a couple quick snapshots just of the details and the whole table together. Now because it's not magic, I really gotta go make another one of these.